Star Trek Voyager's Remember rarely gets remembered in fan discussions, as far as I've seen. In this old Joe Minoski and Brandon Braga reworked TNG script, the protagonist shifted from Troy to Balana. While some may say Balana doesn't fit this story, I'd argue that she's perfect. As a former Maquis, she stands up and fights for a cause, no matter the odds. When she sees injustice, she acts. This is the opposite of the Karana character, the woman who shares her memories with her. This juxtaposition adds an interesting dynamic to the story. The episode offers Roxanne Dawson the opportunity to portray two very different characters and depict how the passing on of stories as a vehicle for truth and memory is vital to a society's self-identity. Dawson's vulnerable, dynamic performance grounds the sci-fi in reality. The unfolding journey that both the audience and Balana experience twists with tension as it shifts from a young romance to a political allegory. And the shift behind the eyes of Karenna, as portrayed by Dawson, is horrifying. That she could so easily be manipulated by her dad. Or worse, that she calculated the path of her father as the only practical one she can follow, considering the political situation. And after doing so, she betrays her lover and buries herself in the propaganda her people use to reframe the extermination of the unwanted regressives. Just like Star Trek does at its best, this story repackages a complex issue such as the Holocaust and examines it in an alien culture, freeing us, the audience, to consider the issue without the limitations of our biases. And that's just another reason why Voyager. Murderers, you tried to hide what you did, but I know, I saw everything. The regressives, the executions. Perhaps a more private discussion would be in No, order. that's what you've been doing all along, hiding the truth. Please, this has to come out. I think it's time we all understood what's been happening here. There was a group of people they called regressives. They just wanted to lead a different kind of life. But they don't exist anymore, do they? You exterminated them. You spent your whole life covering it up. And then you realized that someone was passing the memories on to me. You used me to figure out who it was, and then you killed her. But you know, you were too late. Because Corinna gave me the last of her memories before she died. The Inarns would never do anything like what you're saying. It's unthinkable. It is the truth. I know that you don't want to believe it. In fact, they're counting on that. They always have. I know that it's easier for you to believe that I'm crazy or hallucinating. But this woman shared her life, her whole identity with me. I was with her every step of the way as she convinced herself that what she did, betraying the man she loved, playing her part in the massacre, that it was all somehow for the good of Inaran society. She showed me everything. No request for forgiveness. Just the truth. <laughs> 